Creating U type stairs. We're going to go on our command panel. We're going to go to the create tab. We're going to go to geometry. We're going to hit our pull down menu and go to stairs. Our object type, we're going to click on U type stairs. Now, in our top viewport, I'm going to pick and hold my left mouse button down. And so I'm picking the length of the first segment and the direction of the stairs. I let go and now I'm picking the total width of the stairs and so I'm gonna go about oh, about three feet ish or so now I'm gonna pick the height of the stairs I'm gonna lift it up in the air and I'm gonna pick the height of the stairs so I'm gonna go about eight feet or so and I just created the U-shaped stairs. And I'm going to flip to uh, a different viewport here. I'm going to maximize my viewport toggle. And oop, I'm going to flip back. So I want to pick on this stairs here, and I'll go flip back so we can see it a little better. All right. There we go. So uh, there's my stairs right now. And I'm going to pick on it. Uh, so I'm going to go up and select, choose my stairs, and I'm going to pick modify. And I'm going to come back to my parameters here. Now this is an open stair when I can see the stairs. Now let's kind of fix the height here. I want to go and fix the height of this stair to be 8 foot. Right? And I'm going to go with... Uh, uh, let's go with... Uh, at this point, let's just start with the types. Right now it's open. I'm going to go to closed. It seals it in. When I go to box, it extends the box down. All right, so I'll go back to open here. If I put in stringers, stringers go down the side of the stairwells. And the carriage goes down the middle. So I could take the carriage off, put it back on. I could turn handrails on both sides. I could have the handrail path on. And the handrail path is a line, a spline line that shows, you can see it right down here is my line. We could use that for many things down the road. So I'll turn those off for now. In the layout, I can flip it left or right. So I'll go flip left. I'll just do that so we can see it a little better. So now I have the length. How far is it going lengthwise? And I'll say, well, length one, let's make it 10 foot. Oop, let me go back. 10 foot. All right, and bang, it shortens it up. Okay. And I can say, well, let's go to the other length. I'll go, let's say, 8 foot. All right. And let's say I want to go exactly 3 feet. All right. And there we have a narrow u-shape stairs and so my riser height is 8 inches and my riser count is calculated to be 12 my steps are 2 inches thick and if I scroll down here if I choose this the carriage on I can hit the plus plus scene the plus symbol and I can control the size of my carriage remember the carriage is in the middle so this is an 8 inch uh, wood structural member here and it's three inches wide the spring from the floor is how far off from the floor does it start if I go to the my rails my height of my railing is three foot six my offset from the wall is two inches segments is three the higher the number of the segments the more um, smoother my handrail will be my radius of my handrail is one inch, in other words, a two inch diameter handrail. And my stringers, if they're on, I can hit the plus symbol on the rollout, and they are eight inches. It could be, I mean, excuse me, it's six inches, it could be eight or ten. The width is one inch, could be two for that matter. And the same thing, spring from floors, how far off from the floor does that uh, go from the floor up to the, to the stringer, to the bottom of the stringer? So here we have a U-shaped stairs, 
and uh, again we did that by going up to create to geometry picked on the stairs and we went to u-shape stairs